All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm gonna go over the S&P 500. I'm gonna go over my trade idea to NVIDIA and what I think is gonna be a really good trade setup. So we'll cover that. And then I'm gonna give a good tip. Now you can use this tip for shorting or going long, but NVIDIA right now, a little sneak peek, I think we're headed for a lot of downside on NVIDIA or at least something that could provide some good returns. So we're gonna talk about this trading tip from a perspective of a short okay so let's just get into the s p 500 right away now if we zoom in i have this channel right here that it's kind of bouncing in between as far as price action if we just zoom in a little bit now this price action right here is showing that there is more downside than upside when it comes to hitting these resistances and support so that is one indication that we are potentially going to see a reversal on the s p 500 if we go down to the daily now you can see it's kind of sitting around in no man's land right now it is around or near that zero line so from a one day time frame perspective the s p 500 is not telling us one way or another if you go down to the four hour it tells you a little bit more indication of where i think things are headed now we are in the over bought position and the buyers the bulls are starting to exhaust and we're starting to see an inflection to the downside now is it completely 100 percent safe to enter a short well for one nothing's ever 100 percent safe i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a fortune teller do your own research i'm just calling the market as i see it personally i think this is starting to head down if anything it's more safe to go short right now on the s p 500 than it is to go long with that said there's something in nvidia that i see very clearly that i'm not necessarily seeing in the s p 500 so we're going to go back to the weekly time frame and we're going to bring up nvidia and just narrow it down and now we're going to see something right now again just like the S&P 500, the price action is way more towards what this is potentially as a resistance than down here as a support. So there is more downside than there is upside is what it, uh, that's telling us. Now we have this channel right here. Has it broke the channel? No, not really. Very little bit, but it kind of recovered. As far as the TSI is concerned, the TSI like what you can see over here can really run for a long period of time. So you don't wanna just buy or go short, I should say, um, on the TSI just because it's over the overbought line, okay? You wanna wait for, for one to go back down in the red um, among other things, okay? So why am I bearish on NVIDIA? Well, let's go down to the daily and we'll give a little bit more indication. You're gonna see this line right here and it looks like nothing to you right now, but we get down to the four hour, that's really where we're gonna get into that uh, really important trading tip that I'm talking about. Now we do see some exhaustion right here um, because we're seeing a lot of this yellow line, which just means we're just, we're not breaking through this break in in trend as far as going down. Like we're, we're not really continuing this blew up trend anymore even though the price action is starting to recover so it looks a little foggy however go down to the four hour and this is what i'm talking about as as far as this very important trading tip now this line makes sense now it didn't make sense on the other time frames but it makes sense now so what am i talking about well we're above right here as far as the tsi here's a high on the tsi and the price action was at about 270, 271, okay? And then there was a higher high at about 273. And then the TSI dipped, came back slightly above this overbought line. And we have a new higher high, 281. So what we're seeing is, although the price action is going up, the TSI is going down. What that means is there is exhaustion in the current momentum, and it is likely that we're gonna see a change in trend and a change in the price action and where it's headed. So because of this, even though on the four hour, or I'm sorry, even though on the weekly, it doesn't really tell us anything. And even though on the daily, it's a little foggy, especially with the S&P 500, when you bring out the four hour you can see that this divergence right here this is called a uh, bearish divergence 
it means we are most likely starting to head down. So what we really want to see, and I could actually make this a little bit more active or accurate right here. What we really, really want to see is to break this trend right here and even a come up and bounce off of this trend and head back down. The safest bet for a short on NVIDIA in this situation, in my opinion, is to wait for that. However, given this indication, it's okay to start nibbling, it's okay to start scaling into a position. And in my opinion, as a trader, it is something that is a good idea and a good setup. So it depends on how patient you wanna be, it depends on your risk tolerance, where you wanna put a stop loss, and all of that so that's what all i got for you guys today one thing real quick i want to say i spent a lot of time on a really cool expose i did about insider trading in washington um, and i get really into some deep dives some awesome things so i really highly encourage you guys to check that out i'll leave a card um, towards the beginning of this video and then i'll also leave it at um the end screen here for you guys to check out once again i really appreciate everyone uh that watches the channel feel, feel free to like subscribe hit the notification bell it really 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 does help up the channel to do so share like all the likes and i will see you next time appreciate it